Okay, welcome back to a, uh, another seminar, a webinar, a um, small snippet of education, uh, specifically uh, on um, so cybersecurity, uh, on the, when you're dealing with the internet and using applications on the web. Um, today we're going to talk about setting up a uh, simple way to set up your YubiKey on, your, on a Linux uh, desktop. Um, specifically focusing on challenge response, uh, which is specific, and is also focused on on a Linux desktop. So there is a uh, requirement in terms of the command line, the usage of Linux. So it might not be familiar for Windows users, but or Mac users, but um, more and more uh, the command line is being used, um, and it's it, people who use Linux desktops have been doing it for a long, long time. So um, there's a command line uh, uh, learning curve, um, uh, but uh, at least this will give you an idea of the steps. There's also a guide that I will include in the, in the, um, um, in the comments below that will have a, a, a link to this, this guide giving you details step by step, but this will give you an overview of how this is done. Um, the objective is basically to, to have these YubiKeys. So I'm going to show you some pictures now. Uh, the YubiKey looks like this. Um, I'm going to show you also how it looks uh, in the camera. It's just a very simple key. Um, this is basically my uh, personal. I have a backup, so we'll talk about that as well because you would need backups for these keys. And um, so this is the, the key. Uh, you basically insert it in a... In a and the slot on the on the laptop or computer. Uh, most people know where the USB uh, slot is. Uh, you put it in, and it, it 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 either lights up and you touch it, or just on its own activates as long as it's uh, inserted into the into the USB port. So, given that, uh, let's go ahead and start with the. Uh, here we have the command line. So the first thing we're going to do is making sure that we are able to install software. A little bit different than than how you install um, how you install software on Linux um, than on Windows. Uh, you open up a command prompt uh, like we've done here, and I've split the screen into two, so I have literally two two command prompts. But the first thing we want to do is we're going to have this put this command in, and you'll see it in the in the manual itself. Um, the command is sudo apt install um, and two, these two files are the two programs so in, in essence I'm installing two programs at the same time. So when you put that command it's going to obviously ask you because there's an uh, uh, it's required for administration not just William to be able to 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 install this programs on, the, on this computer you need uh, admin uh, permission to do this so uh, in this case I know the password so I go ahead and put that in um, and it's gonna start to read the package uh, build the dependency trees and install it so when it starts to install it says wait a second you already have the newer version of the software 2.26 at this point in time so it will it will just say okay I, I haven't updated or installed anything because you already have the software and I already have it installed. So that's the first step to go ahead and install the program and the programs in your computer. And as you saw, it requires an elevation in terms of security to, to be able to execute that command. This, the second step we want to do is to configure the YubiKey to actually uh, write. Let's put it this way: it's, it's you're actually putting the challenge res, uh, response, it's the actual signature. You're going to put it into the YubiKey. Uh, and, and kind of like a, putting a signature in the, in the YubiKey itself, uh, like when you sign a check. Uh, this is done through a program called, uh, uh, let me just copy here, um, it's this specific program, I'm gonna, uh, YK man, and it's a command, it's also in the, in the documentation uh, that you, you'll see below. But when you actually do this, it goes out and says, okay, I'm gonna randomly generate a key uh, which is think of this as a as a signature, um, and that key uh, is a challenge response credential. It's going to be stored on slot two in this case. Now I already have that, but the idea here is you want to do this on every single um, YubiKey that you have. I'm going to say no. In your case, you would say yes. 
uh, it's been aborted but because it didn't write but in your case it would be written into that slot and now you have it so now you take out the key <coughs> you insert a brand and the other backup that you have in this case you, have, you want to have at least two and you do this on every single key you, you repeat the command over and over until you're done so you probably do it twice because you have two keys and once you have that done that you have configured the um, uh, the YubiKey. Now we move. Now we move to the next step, which is basically associate this specific YubiKey that has a specific signature in it uh, to your user username. Now, in this case, it, I, I am logged in as William, right? So um, I'm going to have a different. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert the key, um, and I'm going to basically put this command on. So this command. What it does, it says, okay, uh, uh, it's going to go ahead and store the challenge that we just inserted on the on the YubiKey. It's going to store it on the on this specific directory. Uh, it's right now in home, William. It's like my personal directory, but it's on a hidden uh, uh, directory called Yubico, and that's a ch challenge. It just says it's a challenge, and this number here is just the serial number of the uh, of the actual uh, YubiKey. So it says, okay, so it depends how many, so in this directory, if you do it twice, you will have two of these files, one with each serial number for each of the YubiKeys. So once you've completed that, uh, the next step is uh, to configure the system to use the YubiKey. So to test the configuration, the first thing we want to do is we want to um, Go and go ahead and create a file called uh, Yubico Required. Uh, it just call, calls it a name, but we're going to call it Yubico Required, and that's under this directory right here. So uh, this directory at the bottom, the etc pam directory, will have several uh, files in here, uh, each specifically for a specific function of your of your desktop, of your server, or your laptop. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the sudo. Uh, um, Part, which is that file you see in the top left. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, sudo uh, nano is the editor of Linux, um, just like when you're editing a file. Uh, and sudo is the actual file that we're actually uh, configuring. So we go ahead and enter into that into that command. We're, we're using administrator to get in there because we're going to write into it. So I put my password, it gets me in, and this is the file that you will see uh, set up. Um, it's default uh, things that you will have in here when you install the desktop. But one of the one of the lines that you're going to add is this line right here, which is the include Yubico required uh, under under sudo. You want to make sure you have that inserted in here, that command right there. Uh, because that will require the Yubico. Now, this file is not created yet, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. Control X, get out. Um, and as you can see, there is a Yubico required file right here. So, this is the one that we're going to be creating based on the documentation. But if I do a sudo nano uh, Yubico required, you will see in here that you have. I've already put in here the um, the command that that requires uh, Yubico to be done. Uh, this command is a little bit different than what you would put on the documentation, but the reason is because I have I have moved the actual credentials, so those those key with the serial numbers to a different location on my computer uh, for security purposes to escalate security level. Um, but in this case. Um, you you could do it yourself and leave it leave it as default. But the point is that this this file uh, has the actual uh, command. So once these two are enabled and configured, uh, you can go ahead and let's. I'm going to go ahead and remove the the YubiKey itself. So I'm going to remove the YubiKey from my computer. I no longer have it on my laptop, um, and I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, test this to see if it works. So the way to test it is I'm going to be, do a very simple command. Uh, but in order for me to do this command, because I've already used a sudo, so this specific terminal, so I'm going to just exit real quick. 
um, and re-enable it again. So it's like opening a brand new uh, um, a brand new terminal or command line. So now I'm going to do a sudo. So I'm elevating again. I'm elevating the the requirement for my computer. I'm a, I'm going as an administrator, which is what a hacker would do. Um, and I'm going to just type a simple command called echo test, which basically reflects put whatever comes after test after echo puts it on the screen test, but it's using this elevator. Now hackers. Uh, do this, uh, what happens is when they take control of your computer, when they hack your computer, they need to elevate to do other, you know, continue doing their hacking, right? And if your computer is, cannot, cannot perform elevated tasks, it, it, it restricts the, 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 the ability for the, um, for, the, uh, for the hacker to hack into further systems besides yours, right? Uh, and that's a, that's this is just the the, the, requir the restrictions that you put by adding these security. So when I do this command sudo echo test, it's going to ask me for my password. Now, uh, in the case of a hacking uh, machine or a hack machine, the pass the 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 hacker already has your password, so he puts it in. But in this case, it's going to say you can't go through because I couldn't verify the signature on on your hardware on your YubiKey. So can you, so can you, it's basically saying I need to have that, I don't have access to it, so I can't let you in. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the uh, UB key on my USB port. Uh, I'm going to put my password again. And the light on the UB key will turn on, giving my, you know, exposing my signature now and allowing me to, to, to get in. So that what this does is, is restricts the user, the, the hacker. So if I am either working on my computer and I, and I decide to, to leave my computer for a long period of time, I would take my YubiKey out and I know that no elevation can be done unless I'm actually back with the YubiKey. Same goes when you um, configure the, the, the terminal, uh, which is what the next step we're gonna be doing is when you log into the computer, right? So the last step we're gonna be doing is to configure the system to require the YubiKey for login, not just not just escalating the 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 level of command that you're going to be executing on your computer, but actually logging into your computer. And this is fairly simple. It's done through the um, um, a different file in that the same directory we're in just recently. So I'm going to go back to the directory etc. Pam, and this directory has uh, different areas of the computer. In this case, uh, I'm focusing on the gdm-password, uh, which is this one right here. So that specific um, password uh, or gdm file is the one we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and sudo, which I'm escalating, nano, uh, and gdm is the actual file, and it opens up because we were already authenticated on that screen, it didn't require me from the passwords. I'm already there, um, which is important to make sure you exit your command line after you execute sudo. But in this case, we're going to add that that command there, uh, include yubico, just like we did with the sudo. So that's it. It's just one command that you you're telling you to go back to the yubico required, which is the other the other file that you see in the in this directory. Uh, this yubico required here. So now I'm telling you, when you log in, you're also going to do the same thing. You're going to look at and, and require a, a, a Yubico. And that's basically it. As soon as you log out and log back in, you're going to have to have the Yubiki uh, connected. So if a hacker happens to compromise your computer and hack into it, it will always require, first of all, if it's logged out, it has to have the key inserted. Uh, it's like the car won't, won't turn on unless the, the, the key is in, in the ignition, more or less. This is the same idea here. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this uh, webinar and don't forget to um, use these UB keys. They're very handy and, and solve a lot of uh, problems. So thanks a lot and waiting for the next uh, UB card. Remember to like your video if you enjoyed it. Thank you.